everybody, how are you? Okay, this design. It is a special thing for, I don't know if in your country or in a state or um, they celebrate a tooth fairy, you know, it's an awareness so kids can brush their teeth every day. So we do that in Shayam once a year, and this is the month, February. So for that, I made this. What is this? Looks creepy, right? So I'm experimenting to make a mouth. So that's the idea, the lips, the teeth, and into a body so kids can feel more like, oh, this is, you know, something that had eyes, I like it. So I think it looks better in person than what you see right now on the camera. But um, the thing is making this design, probably we are going to um, kind of like learn techniques because this is a very cool technique that you're going to learn making this design. But also look at, look, look at the shape of the lips. You see, that's kind of a really cool thing that you can do with balloons. Um, I'm just experimenting. So I make this black, the arms, you know, what is all in 160 black. Another cool thing, this design, you can use bigger balloons. So this design can be bigger. I'm gonna just make it with a small 160 balloons because it's easier to manipulate for a video. But you can try with 260, 350, or even 650. Hmm. That would be cool. <laughs> so, what do you think? It kind of looks creepy, but with cute eyes, things can be much better. So these are just stickers. And I think with cute eyes, this can be better. And also you can make it, you know, even more interesting if you make bigger eyes. You know, or maybe just to, uh, a one white five inch round and just attach it here for eyeballs. We can try that because the cool thing is we have a connector here. So there's a connector right here and you can make, you know, even something bigger here. But I'm thinking, you know, just, I was experimenting and thinking. So when we get to that point, we maybe can try to attach eyeballs and let's see how it looks, okay? Um, let's start it. And it's, that is the thing, it's, it's not hard. If you practice, you can make it fast. And it's kind of interesting, right? You can see through here. <laughs> you can make that, that tongue coming out or the kids can play, you know, with something there. Oh no, their own mouth. I don't know, what do you think? Hmm? <laughs> well, tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for your comments that you just did in my last two videos. Thank you, I appreciate it. I love to see that you like the video because that helps also to this channel to be better, yeah? Okay, let's start it. Um, first, this is, you know, we'll go straight to the trick. A 260 red, and the trick is, you are going to grab two of these raisin beans. This is what it calls here in the United States, pedacitos de globos que lo atas unos cuatro veces. You just have to tie a balloon, a scrap, and you tie it one, two, three, and four, but in the same place. When I say the same place where well, this is, so you make a little chunk of balloon there, and that's what you're gonna get. That's what you is the, what the things you have. You can make it with just three knots there, but this is kind of what you're gonna get. So I have here mine. Maybe with just three times, so there's no so big because you have to introduce it into a 260 balloon. So let's do that. I just push and put one, and then I push the next one and open the next one and squish it there. Now there's two inside. What you're gonna do now is inflate your balloon to 60. Inflate, 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 inflate. Leaving probably eight finger tail, that's okay. I squish your balloon so it's fat, it's uh, soft, and uh, you tie it. You tie it. Okay. I squish it so then it's soft because that's what we want here for the trick. <laughs> now you're gonna do a two pinch twist here. One bubble, like two finger bubble, pinch twist, another bubble. Make sure the nuts, the raising beans that are inside, are to the right, right? Don't trap it here in the pinch twist. So you have to kind of play with that. So it's there. Now, from here, squish and soft that part, and you measure like approximately four finger bubble. Now, if you're making this bigger, the idea is approximately like half of what you're gonna leave in the other side, okay? And then you're gonna just kind of like, look, squish, look what I'm squishing this part, and here you have to trap one of one of the raisin beans. So let's do that. 
I send it and I feel it. You see your fingers are feeling it. One of those, you're not gonna grab two, right? You're gonna have only one of the racing beans and I feel it, I have it right here trapped. So now I'm gonna twist it, okay? If that happened to you, like you lose it, keep trying, you're gonna do it. You have it there, that's what it is. This is squish and soft and you twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it, yep. So look that shape of the balloon there. Now, this is maybe tricky or hard, but with practice, always practice and patience. Look, here, how many? It's four, like two, six finger towel. That's good enough. Now, this balloon, it's better if you, before you grab the racing bean, you already attach it into this pin twist. And I always get distracted and I kind of like twist it later and then it's all messy. But the idea is you twist it first here. And when you have it there in the two pinch twist, you're gonna grab and just measure the same amount or approximately there. And look how I use my fingers. I use all my fingers now. I, my thumb and my pointy finger is holding the raisin bean and the three rest fingers are pushing and I'm gonna twist, push and twist. I hope you get it. But if you're not trying, you wait. Try, let's see what happens. And I twist it, look, I twist it a couple times. Then when I feel it's hurting too much and you cannot hold it anymore, but it's there attached, you're gonna grab that 160 pin and gonna twist, twist, twist while you are going around the racing beam. Okay? And there you go. Now you have this. When you have that, you're gonna measure again four finger bubble, the other side, and this part make it soft. Again, it's squish, so it's soft. You don't want that too tight. Yeah. So I'm gonna measure four for the other side. And make sure, wait, wait you see? Make sure, I'm going to untwist it because I have to make sure that the second racing bean, it is in the other side. And I have to make sure it's there. So come on, yeah. Now I know, I feel it. You see, it's now down. You don't see it, but you have to feel. Okay, now you twist them. And it's there. It's in the other side, the red balloon. Now make sure always the racing bean, so you play with this angle. So then it's all the way here. While well, you make two pinch twists. One, and another pinch twist. So don't forget, before you twist, squish your balloon. Squish, okay? Squish and twist. Okay. Now, from here, we're gonna do the same. Four finger bubble here in this 260 red. Half of the balloon. So it's there. You're gonna put it down. You trap it in the here and grab it with one hand, your strongest hand. <laughs> grab it there and twist it. One, two, three, four, approximately. Then we're gonna do the same idea. Grab this bubble with the pink 160. With these three fingers, you push all the way what you hold in. Oh, then, and if you lose it, keep trying. The thing is, with the balloon 260 is soft and squishable, it's gonna be better. Probably it's gonna be easier, you know, with, with a Palatex. I'm using right now a Betalatex. Betalatex, yeah, or what is Serpentex. And those can be a little bit harder because those balloons are, are stronger, that's what I feel. So I pull it down and then I, look, grab all if, if it's easier. And then twist, 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 twist around, twist around, twist around the little racing bean. And don't trust like, oh, I twisted once and that's enough. No, it's not gonna be enough. You keep going, like three times at least. So when you have that, now you measure four finger bubble the other side. Okay, and that's all. Then you're gonna close this here. So twist. If you push balls and it's a squishable and soft, you can twist it at the same time. And that's all with these balloons. So now we're gonna cut through. Oh, pew. <laughs> and we're going to do the same the other side. But not with your teeth. Don't use your teeth. Use your cutter or your scissors. I have my scissors because 
thanks to Pearl that she sent me scissors. I have it with me in my box. It's supposed to be here. But if it's not here, well, I know I have it and I've been using it when I'm going to the events. But I'm gonna use this finger ring, for example. So I don't use my finger. Because I don't need this balloon anymore. I can just poof, shoot it. <laughs> and uh, later you will pick it up. Okay, now you tie these two pieces. And, oh wait, got distracted. And that's horrible when that happens. Don't put your thumbs down. Don't do that, please. Forget. I'm gonna inflate here, I have another one. Because the thing is, I thought it's over. But no, it's not, so. Rewind. <laughs> You're gonna, I should edit it, but no, it's like too much. You're gonna now remember when you you stay here, right? So yeah, let's go back here. Nothing happened. You just only pop the red because you don't need it anymore. But with the pink, what you're gonna do is one of the sides, and you decide which one, the one that you wanna come back here, or the one in the bottom. You have to um, go again back and one more time back. Why? Because it's gonna make, I think, easier to attach the teeth in them later. So um, what I think is easier for me right now, depending on the angles, I think it's gonna be, you know, the ones on top. So that's what I'm gonna do. I touch it, I pass it around, I found a little racing bin, and I'm gonna drop it, and then I'm gonna up, when I feel like I have it trapped there. So you have to go again back to that racing bin. And then when you have that, you're gonna go the other side. Um, and that's it. Now you pop the balloon and you pop it. And that's a bummer, right? If that happened, a mistake. And only because I got distracted with myself. <laughs> yeah, that happens. So look, it looks all messy and crazy. And it's like, what is that, Cecilia? Come on. Now it's time to fix it. How? All the, bab the gums, that's what I call this part, because it's bubble and pink, and plus it's representing the gums. What you're gonna do is put it in inside. So this is my front, okay? And now I'm gonna push, for example, this one in the back. You see, now the same with this. So this is what I'm gonna do. You have this. You see, this is the back. Now, the two bubbles, the ones that you decide that you're gonna go double, those are gonna be on top, on the top part, okay? And the ones in the bottom is gonna be only the ones that you pass once, okay? Now, you are going to grab your 160 wide. Good thing, because the, the idea is teeth and the tooth fairy and, you know, make things like toothbrushes. So this is another design for those things, thematics. Um, but with one 160, you can make two of these designs. That's cool. You inflated, let me see, six finger tail. And now you attach it just, and this is the easy part. You don't have to make it too elaborate enough. Now it's time to relax. You just attach it to the pinch, to two pinch to his red. And you just make five bubbles, five. So. And very small, like one finger bubble. One, two, three, Four and five. Cinco burbujitas con el globo 160. Solo cinco va a ser más que suficiente. Ok? Cinco, y si quieres seis, a seis, pero no te va a convenir tanto, va a ser un poquito más difícil. Ok? Cinco, y la pasas acá al otro lado. Esas van a ir abajo. Ahora vas a hacer cinco para arriba. Ok? Cinco para arriba. Entonces, cinco, si quieres seis, pero. Tendré que hacerlas muy chiquitas, no te va a convenir. A cinco nomás. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, and cinco. I make five. So five also on top. Okay, so you make five bubbles, one on the bottom, five bubbles on the top. Yeah, don't complicate yourself. This is supposed to be a five silly, you know, design. Okay, it looks crazy like that, it's fine. But don't forget, you make five in each time. Now this, you cut it, cutter, and you have enough for a second pair of teeth. Now you boop, 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 tie it, pass it around. So that's why you have those pinch twists to secure things. And look at this. This is a trick. First, I like the ones on top because you have here this, um, how I'm gonna open this? Okay, 
you see this angle okay in between the pink and the red you have here you know like that pressure between two bubbles that can help the white bubbles to be in between not all the way but in between a certain way so you just open it a little bit so, and just squish them and things are gonna fit perfect and that's the cool thing and the same you can do on the other side and then just play with the lips play with that squishy squishy thing and that's it um i'm very excited and happy when i found you know these just ideas that occurs to me some ideas are too silly too crazy but look if you are thinking that's it take it smile just put it on you you just put a stick you know balloon here and it's like a mouth a crazy silly mouth that's okay, even with your nose, in times that you can open here and, and can pinch your, your nose, you know? But um, the thing is now, we are kind of in a moment that you cannot really have much contact with kids. So that's what I was thinking, well, how to make this something cool. Uh, this came undone, so I just have to make sure to try it. But how to, you know, like interact with the kids in a, you know, like funny way. If you make kind of like a face here. So that's kind of the idea. Um, we get touched here. Okay, and just accommodating things. So now, that's why I decide to make that type of idea of face. But because we already tried with black, you know, we can try maybe with another color. <clears throat> another thing I don't want to forget. When you see this on you, think about the brand Qualatex and uh, if you know about Qualatex they have like a mascot right and it kind of may work with this technique I don't know it's just an idea that occurs it, it, it's like I can see if you play with the colors the mascot you will see the mascot of Qualatex there it kind of like I was thinking of that too but uh, let me know if you play with that uh, this technique and that design if that works now, instead of black, I'm thinking, what about we try another color? We can ask the kid, what's your favorite color? And the kids are like, ah, oh, purple, or orange, or blue. So whatever the color they say, and if you have it, so in my case, I have blue. I'm gonna inflate. So I'm using 160, because it's faster, it's easier to manipulate, I tell you. Um, so six finger tail. And what you're gonna have to do, look, it's just a loop, two finger bubble loop pinch twist a bubble pinch twist then you measure like approximately four or five finger bubble here for the leg and look at here this is the connection the bottom that pinch to that little racing beam so you look at your design and you have it like this <clears throat> so that's the connection we're going to use here so that racing beam it's important and how to attach things here you have to look how I grab the balloon. My thumb is gonna push these two together close to the racing beam, and then my right hand is gonna be twisting around. Twist. When I twist, I start kind of like attaching things. So that's kind of the idea, okay? It may take practice, but it's not impossible. Okay, when you already twist this balloon a couple of times, you can grab these two together. So that's kind of the idea. Uh, that's why also the balloon is squishable, the red, so it's not gonna pop. So you just have to play with that. Okay, now a squish with your thumb and pull the racing beam and twist it around. And when you feel like it's holding all things together, you twist this to make it tight. So that's kind of what I'm doing there. So you just use that racing beam and you have this. Now, from here, you don't have to make a pinch twist. You just kind of like, what you can do is measure again four or five finger bubble, just doing this, twist, make a two finger loop, or what, two finger loop, and then a pinch twist. Now from here you decide you want the legs separated, or you can just make one little small, less than a finger bubble, another one little less than a finger bubble, and this can then connect it together. It's another way to make feet. You see? Then you cut the balloon, but don't get rid of this. Why? Just loop some air. 
you want to have something like this, like two finger here, space, and those are going to be for the arms and the place that I connected the head. Now, we're going to experiment and you're going to tell me how it looks. Now, blue is another good choice, I think, because blue is also representing teeth, don't you think? Okay, so I'm just accommodating things, putting things in proper position, and you have this. So after this, now you have this rest of balloon for the arms. So now, we can make the arms the way we did this, and then have this small face. But what about we try just making the arms and then big eyeballs? So we can make big eyeballs, or with the leftover of the 160s so of them, we don't use another balloon. Or if you want a five inch round and just attach it there, it's up to you. I'm gonna show you both so you can see. I'm just throwing a five inch round. Look, inflated like three finger. So you don't want super big, 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 big right? So you tighten, it, you twist it in half approximately, and then you attach it all the way here to that to that pinch twist. And it's an option, but um, you don't have to use the, the racing bean, you just pass it through the leaves, and uh, the, the gums, the bubble gums, and just leave it there, okay? You don't have to go all the way to the pinch twist, it's gonna be harder. Just grab, put it inside and play with between, you know, this part, put it there, play with it. Now, I like how it's looking so far. And now let's go and do the rest of what we were planning. Let's see what happens. I'm just um, thinking, let's make the hands. It's a one finger bubble, another like a one finger loop or one and a half finger loop, twist it together, touch it there. You don't want too long the arms. You just want maybe two finger there, or two and a half, and attach it to this pinch twist. Okay. Um, it seems like it's uh, because I make the, the legs too long. Now it seems like the balloon is too short. I don't have enough. So um, I like this position. You see, the arms is kind of like, or you can also put it even lower. That's that's okay too. Let's see how it looks at the end. Now, the idea is you go all the way here and then you will have enough for the arms, the other arm, but it seems like you don't have enough. So um, I'm gonna, the thing is, what do you think? If this goes okay, if I squish it and, and put it right here, like this, what do you think? I'm just squishing the balloon, pass it to the back, like this, and then twist. And then if you are lucky, you will have enough for to make a second arm. I'm just playing with what I have because I don't want to pop and cut and tie. So I'm just doing this. This is kind of tight, but that's what we have right now. Okay, so we have this. What do you think, everyone? Let me just now look at the design, play with the bubbles. The good thing is we have the bubbles, two of the, um, for the mouth are red. So I think things can be looking cute. Cool. And I I like him. Don't you think? Big eyes, why not? You can try. Um and then it's just sharpie turn. So you can make it because already we're using blue, maybe blue eyes. Hmm, blue. Mm. So this is a way to make eyes, you know, you just make like a glitter U there, and then the rest you just just do this, you know, finish it like the circle and then you just color what is inside. You see, that's kind of a, a way to make eyes cool. I don't know. It's a very long video. Yeah, it is a very long video, but I'm trying to make it as fast and understandable as possible. So this is what we got. You tell me in the comments, which one do you prefer? sticker eyes this is the ones i have it's not like that wow but those are the ones i have or just big eyes and play with that i like the big eyes idea i think kids will like that too and this is the thing this is like a little monster too look it's like a cute <laughs> creepy monster why not this can be also a cool idea for halloween kids love to interact with balloons so you can tell look you can see through your monster 
<laughs> so I guess this is gonna be the monster balloon. But I'm gonna use it for the Tooth Fairy event that I have. Mm. Well, I hope you like it. Please tell me in the comments, what do you think about this design? And if you have ideas how to make this design better or make it into another design using this technique, share it in the comments because other people can also see the comments and they can learn from you, okay? So I don't wanna forget, if you want to collaborate with this channel, how to do it, check it out in the description. There's lots of ideas. I have a Vimo account that is at Paca Globo, and then I have a PayPal account that it's, um, a, what is alpaca global at gmail yes gmail.com i guess <laughs> and then if you want to see the designs that i make in my regular days working with balloons instagram is the place i post everything there and if you want to follow the, my instagram it will be awesome and i use instagram it's more for to meet other balloon twisters facebook i save it for my clients for people that see my work and they want to hire me for events. So um, I don't recommend you to find me on Facebook. Mm -mm. It's not a good idea because I'm trying to keep, you know, the space, the limited space of friends that you can have on Facebook for my clients. And that's kind of the, the way I choose. But um, what about you? How do you do with your social network? I think Instagram is great for me that artistic way. I see oh, wonderful balloon artists and on Facebook it's more to see my community and what is close to me that I can promote my business, Balloon Twisting. Okay, okay, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Look, I have to make this clear and I repeat it all the time because this channel, the cool thing is it's organized with playlists. What is that? If you check up and go to visit my channel, in this channel, YouTube channel, you will see there's playlists. Click there and there's themes. Themes, for example, I'm gonna create this theme Tooth Fairy. For when it's a Tooth Fairy theme, you will find toothbrush, tooth, tooth fairy, um, this even crazy thing. So you will see ideas there for Tooth Fairy. I have another playlist called what? Easter. So you will have cool Easter ideas. Another uh, playlist, Valentine's, Christmas, Halloween, uh, animals, food, cartoons, superheroes so that's the cool part you see one design one tutorial can be in many different playlists but it goes accord or you know what it works for the playlist you you understand the idea right <laughs> i hope so have a wonderful day and now yes i'm going bye bye